With me now, host of The Michael Knowles Show on The Daily Wire, Michael Knowles. Michael, good to see you. Liz, good to see you. All right, this created so many headlines, so, so many headlines yesterday, Michael, as you saw. Uh, a report of a man who talked to the Pope, told the Pope he struggled with same-sex attraction, homosexuality. He then told the media that the Pope said it's okay to be gay, God made you that way, and he loves you. Um, why did the liberal media go crazy about this? This is traditional Catholic doctrine. Well, because they don't know anything about traditional Catholic doctrine, so they attack not Christianity or Catholicism, but just some caricature of Christianity or Catholicism. There's nothing shocking or revolutionary uh, about saying that God loves you, except for the first time that that was said, <laughs> except when the God incarnate brought that message 2,000 years ago. Now, I will say, this same man, they love Pope Francis. They misquote him all the time. They turn him into this left-wing social justice warrior when it suits their purposes. But this is the same man who, when he was cardinal in Argentina, called the political fight to redefine marriage and include same-sex unions, a machination of the father of lies who seeks to deceive and confuse the children of God. It's funny how the mainstream media, they don't report that one. They report the Pope saying that God loves you no matter how you are, and they construe that to say, oh, the Catholic Church is going to change 2,000 years of doctrine. But I think it's because they don't report on that part because I don't think they can pronounce the word machination. That's their issue here. So let's get this straight. <laughs> this very clear. So Catholic doctrine, like you said, 2,000 years, it has not changed their doctrine on homosexuality. They never say that uh, feeling attraction to somebody of the same sex is a sin. That is not what is defined as a sin. That is what the media, that is what the liberal narrative is. That is not what the Catholic Church says. The Catholic Church says that, uh, that sex outside of the marital covenant is a sin and that marriage is between one man and one woman. That in and of itself, that philosophy, that doctrine does exclude gay marriage, does exclude homosexual sex. It does not at any point condemn the individual feeling those feelings of attraction. The church has made a huge error, in my opinion, in the last, you know, probably thousands of years in how we have treated uh, gay and lesbian people, but never has it been doctrinally uh, condemning those people. Well, you know, the culture right now is obsessed with sex and with marriage. Everybody is talking about it, from the, which bathroom people can use to redefining marriage. And so the church is obviously dealing with these issues as well. Uh, Jesus Christ s speaks explicitly on very few uh, practical matters, what could be called political issues in the Gospels. But he does speak explicitly about marriage, which is why the church cannot change its position on marriage over time. And I must say, because the media totally misrepresent Pope Francis, but the Holy Father does seem to allow the media to misrepresent him. He will speak with reporters who are hostile to the Catholic Church, who are atheists, who are left-wing. He spoke to one from La Repubblica, Eugenio Scalfari, and that reporter then goes and says, the Pope said, hell doesn't exist, or the Pope said yada, 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 and he seems to keep putting himself in that situation. He seems not to answer some of the questions that uh, more conservative Catholics have asked about his apostolic exhortation of Maurice Letizia, or certain comments he's made about marriage, whether Catholics can now, uh, divorced and remarried Catholics can receive the Eucharist. He's allowing this confusion to exist, and it is creating chaos within the Catholic Church. Uh, I think that is the appropriate place to question what the Holy Father has done, but the, the mainstream media are having their own entirely different uh, sideshow about Pope Francis that does not comport with reality. 